Hello and welcome to another Cat Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Jesse. Today we're going to be talking about decals. Decals are great. It's a quick and easy way to add accuracy to your model and make things look more realistic. The problem with decals is the same problem we have with everything. File management. Where did I put that thing? Every decal is just one more file to keep track of. Of course, this conversation begs to be addressed by PDM, but I'm not going to go there right now. How many times have you sent a file to someone and it comes through missing all of the decals? Pack and Go does have the option to look for decals, but even then you might lose some in a directory it wasn't looking in. Now I created this model based off of a training file for a previous tech tip on saving images with transparent backgrounds for presentations. If you missed that tech tip, I'll put a link to it in the description. In this example, I made a custom logo for this fictional client, Peterson, and we'll say we want to send the model to them so they can look it over in SolidWorks or in eDrawings and get an idea of what the final product might look like. The key is, I want to make sure it opens with the decals because the placement is key, and SOLIDWORKS 2018 has the answer. In each file's document properties, you will find a new option to store decals within the part or assembly itself. This means that the decal will be embedded within the SOLIDWORKS file. The option can be found under Document Properties Model Display, but don't forget you can always search for the options to find it. Here it is. Note that this is a document property. So that means you can adjust the option on a part-by-part -part basis or save it to your templates. Now do be aware, as the option notes, this will increase the size of your files because it has to store the decal within the part itself. That being said, you're going to have to send the data one way or another, be it in the part or external to the part. This may change the way you set up your file structure though, as you can now exclude sending the folder of decals as they're already embedded in the parts or assemblies. Now you can place your decals in SOLIDWORKS and be confident that if you need to send your files to another machine for rendering and visualize, or send a copy to a coworker or a customer, or even open it in eDrawings, the decals will always be there. Well, I hope this tip helps you to get the most out of using decals in SOLIDWORKS, or encourages you to give decals a try if you haven't used them in a while. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.